Very pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Hamilton Tiger Cats, Orlando Steinauer. And uh, coach, it's been a busy 24, 48 hours. Uh, I guess just take us through the process of uh, everything that's that's gone down from your perspective. Well, you never know exactly how it's going to end up, but I think that the personnel department did an outstanding job. I think we were prepared. Uh, it was a, a very joint effort uh, with the with the coordinators and everybody being involved. And we even, you know, we even call the position coaches from time to time. But you know, credit the personnel department for for diving in, and of course the video department. Just it's just a real team effort. So uh, everything, the groundwork was really laid early, and then it was just seeing how things fall and. I think the biggest priority was, you know, everybody talks about the splash on the 11th, but, you know, maintaining quite a few of our own is also part of free agency. Yeah, continuity is something you and I talked about uh, just last week when it came to the coaching staff. I mean, continuity on defense for his, for however many pieces that you added and, added, and you did add quite a bit, there is quite a bit of continuity when it comes to, you know, your 15-3 and three team coming back. Yeah, again, we think continuity is vital. It's not always going to happen way the contracts are structured and how many free agents are out there it, it just makes it tough so from year to year there's going to be some change and you know that's the players right that's the way they want it so it's not that we didn't have offers out to everybody that left but they choose to leave for their own reasons and you know uh, they were an integral part of, of helping us uh, achieve last season but it's all about 2020 now so uh, we want to go forward with the people that wanted to be Hamilton Tiger Cats this year. Uh, Larry Dean, of course, a huge addition. Of course, Dylan Wynn being able to keep him was huge, but uh, Larry Dean, big number 11 coming back. Everybody's pretty excited to see this, and I have to imagine someone that you coached on the defensive side of the ball for a few years here in Hamilton, you're happy to see him uh, back as a member of the Black and Gold. Can't really say enough good things about Larry Dean, and he's earned uh, all the praise that people talk about him. He's a tremendous leader. Uh, his play on the field is what people recognize, but it's everything behind the scenes. It's the man that he is. Uh, he fits our cultural organization uh, just fine, and I think for players that haven't been around Larry are in for a real treat because he's just a model of consistency. He cares, and he'll be an integral part of us making a run at this 2020 championship at Grey Cup. A couple of the uh, the newer guys, Kadarius Ford obviously jumps out. Uh, Patrick Levels is a name that I think fans are going to become very familiar with. Uh, the depth that you guys are building in that middle line or in that linebacker spot, and then in the secondary, I have to imagine you're anticipating quite a few uh, camp battles uh, to start when it comes to positions. We believe in it strongly. That's uh, one of our criteria. We want competitive uh, people uh, slash players, and we want competitive spirit throughout camp. It really doesn't matter what position. You know, I spoke on that even with the Dane and Jeremiah thing, and those type of things. We're always looking for competition. And so, yeah, we're able to layer in some depth. And, you know, we like uh, what we saw on tape from Ford and, and Levels is an, an accomplished guy. And, you know, they're, you know, I know they're looking just as forward as we are to coming in and competing in camp and earning a spot. But, you know, that's one thing about us is that, you know, we're going to put our best 12 out there on each side of the ball. And, and same with special teams. And we're not going to, you know, nobody's entitled to anything. So we're looking forward to healthy competition at training camp. A uh, big move today, of course, was uh, 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 Devere Posey. Obviously, it's going to be nearly impossible to uh, recreate what uh, what Braylon Addison did last year. But when you look at a guy like Devere, are you hoping that he's able to step into a role like Braylon played to be, you know, your deep ball threat uh, this season? Yeah, we want Devere to come in and, and, and beat Devere. And, you know, replacing, I think we try not to get caught up in replacing uh, exact skill sets of people because I think that you're setting – the player up and ourselves uh, for possible dejection. We want him to bring what he brings to the table. Competitive nature, great hands. You know, he's done it at the highest level. Um, heard great things. You know, it's not like we're in the dark when it comes to uh, to Veer because, you know, we've had other people in our organization that have uh, worked with him before. Uh, he comes highly recommended. He wanted to be here, which is exciting for us. And I just look forward to him being himself and not worrying about filling anybody else's shoes. Uh, another player who wanted to be here was Don Jackson, based on what I heard from uh, Sean Burke. He's a, a motivated guy, obviously, a uh, positional battle last year, uh, frustrating year for him with injuries as well. But the one thing that stood out to me was his yak yardage and just how dangerous he is when he gets into the open field. Is that something that you had kind of targeted, that you guys had targeted in terms of finding that uh, home run hitter when it comes to running back heading into this season? Yeah, we were, we were looking for a guy – a skill set that we didn't feel like we had. Uh, we feel like we got some really well-rounded backs uh, in Erlington, Bennett, 
you know, obviously, and, and with Malik Irons, you know, they bring their own skill sets, but we felt like we were lacking in that department. And, you know, you could be, we felt like that last year also, but it doesn't mean that those players are always available or that you're able to bring them across the border up here to, to our league. So uh, when a player like that becomes available and we, and we look at it as a little bit more than a want, but closer to a need, then we looked hard at it and we were just uh, grateful eh, he was available. And just as when we brought him in, he, he got the sense that he wanted to be a Hamilton Tiger cat. And that always, you know, we don't want to force anybody to be here. You either want to be a part of it or you don't. And it was very apparent that we'd have a good shot at him. Uh, the guys wanting to come here, guys wanting to stay here. A lot of the guys who did stay here talked about the family atmosphere. How do you create something like that? Is that something that, that's organic? That's just something that, I mean, it just seems like to hear guys talk about how much they enjoy playing here. It's something that I think everybody who has worked, who's had a job, can relate to having a good workplace and a not-so-good workplace. Yeah, there's a, there's a difference between turning off your alarm and, and slamming, it, slamming it down when you get up in the morning. So, um, you know, I think it's a it's a longer conversation and than, than we probably have here today. But, you know, I think that's one of the things that I'm, I'm most proud of when you hear things like that, that people want to be here. They talk about the family atmosphere. I think that's a commonly used term in sports. Um, but it's about being, having a sustainable model and not just saying it, but believing it and then embodying it daily. So uh, there's no magic wand. I, I take pride that we all worked hard in it, uh, at it last off season throughout the whole organization and credit everybody for buying into a vision like that. Coach, I uh, appreciate your time as always. Enjoy some R&R a little bit, just a little tiny bit, because we'll see you back here real soon. Hey, thanks for your time. We'll look forward to it all season. Perfect. Awesome. Thanks, Coach.